All right, so Thrustmaster T Flight Hotus Hotus One controller with a thruster and a joystick. And what do you need to know before plugging this in, before using this? Well, first and foremost, before you plug the USB to your Xbox Series X, the most important thing you need to do is right over here, right on the left bottom side of your joystick, there is a switch between the PC and the Xbox, and you need to switch to the Xbox before you plug in that USB, before the USB goes inside your Xbox Series S front hub. Let me show you. So basically, this is what I'm talking about. You want to make sure that you switch from PC to the Xbox. Maybe you were using this controller on your PC and you got so excited and you wanted to start playing you know, on the Series X or S, but you forgot to switch to the Xbox. It will not detect this T-Flight Hotis One controller unless you switch to the Xbox. When you do this, make sure you do this first. Do you do this first, switch to the Xbox, and then you plug it in to your Series X USB uh, input. But make sure that you switch to the Xbox first. So the next step after that is just to turn this on to make sure that it's working. You know, make sure that there's a light there. Make sure that it's working. And once you see that there's a light there and it's working, then you know it's working. So now that you got all of that jazz taken care of, what's the next step? Guys, you're going to have to use this controller, this Xbox uh, Series X controller, either this or a mouse. But I would recommend that you use this controller, so that way you can uh, control the cursor. See, you still need to use this controller, so that way you can control the cursor. So what's the next step? The next step is to go to the control options and make sure that your uh, T-Flight Hotis, Hotis 1 it's uh, recognized and that it's uh, being implemented. You make sure you select it and once you select it go to your sensitivity. Remember you're going to be controlling the cursor with your uh, Xbox Series X controller or your Series S controller. Think of this controller as a mouse and think of this as just, you know, your flight stick. But this is your mouse right here. So click on sensitivity. Sensitivity is the very important part here, guys. Sensitivity is the key on having a stable, smooth flight experience. I already have calibrated mine. I left uh, sensitivity on the uh, joystick L axis one to minus 56 and minus 55, and sensitivity on both axes up and down, left and right to minus 56. Uh, this right here is going to be the key, guys. This right here is going to be the key to have that, see that smooth thrust. So you can have that smooth uh, acceleration of the RPM, right? You want to have that smooth thrust. That's what she said. And then right here on your left, this is going to be your... You can see it right, right here on this side. You want to have your joystick and your yoke have that nice sensitivity. But we're going to move it to... 55 we're gonna move this to 55 actually minus 53 and minus 49 that's fine uh, reactivity also you want to make sure you put that at like like 30 or 40 
get the reactivity down as well. You want to have everything in a balanced kind of a state and that's what I find out it works best for me. You see now it's much smoother. See the line going up, down, you know, left, right. See, we got a smooth calibrated joystick. This is something that I find it worked for me on the PC. So I'm pretty much using the same calibrations that I used on the PC here. You guys can pause the video, you can write this down. And of course, this is your thruster right here. And you will see, once I go back to flying, you'll see just how accurate my flying is going to be. So calibrating your Huttus T-Flight 1 controller joystick, it's going to be the key thing to a successful smooth, uh, smooth flying same thing goes for your controller. You want to do the same thing on the thumbstick left and right. You want to have the same exact thing on your Xbox Series X controller. That's, that is if you're going to be using a controller. Sensitivity is the key, and this is what I've been telling people. So now let's go fly. Let's save this. Click Done. Apply and save. And uh, that's it. Now we can go back to flying. And, and you will see how smooth it is now. You see, I can adjust the, uh, the throttle more realistically. And now we got that smooth, smooth flying. See? Let's go uh, to the exit on the uh, external view. See? You see how smooth that is? This is why a lot of you, and I watch a lot of these videos, this is why a lot of you crash and lose the control because you don't have sensitivity calibrated properly and everything is too sensitive like moving left is sensitive giving that extra throttle goes really fast rpms just start skyrocketing this is why calibrating your controller is going to be the key thing sensitivity it's going to be most important okay see right here no issues, no problems. It feels so real, doesn't it? Now, what about the camera, right? This is another thing, the camera. Let's adjust this. Hold on. Let me uh, adjust the altitude here. Just give me one sec. Let me uh, adjust the camera here really quick.
There we go. Let's uh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Ah, well. <laughs> let's restart. Um, let's adjust the camera really quick. Let me show you the, what type of camera am I. You can save the preset on your camera as well. So I'm going to show you. Uh, well, the camera is going to be a very important part too here as well. Uh, your camera is going to be uh, a key thing here. So go to your camera and uh, select the upper position right here. Uh, use a free look and uh, select the upper upper position and uh, zoom level make sure you zoom out as much as possible zoom out as much as possible and then leave it like that and now you got yourself a nice view over here of the uh, the camera and we can start smooth writing this gently and we can start taking off see now everything's smoother everything it's more reliable because we have calibrated our sensitivity and even during the rain with this caravan we can easily fly more accurately so I guess the whole point of this video is going to be to uh, for you guys to realize that uh, whether you're using a T-Flight Hotis 1 controller joystick or whether you're using the Xbox Series XS controller, um, it doesn't matter as long as you are calibrating that sensitivity. The sensitivity here is going to be the key, man, for you having that smooth, 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 uh, smooth ride, which we have over here. Clearly, you can see. So I hope that this video gives you that idea as to what I've been telling everybody <clears throat> as far as the sensitivity. But yeah, having these these uh, T-Flight Hot, Hotis One controllers, having them in your possession, definitely going to add to the experience. There's no question about it. It will add to a more smoother and better experience you know even during the rain here uh, as you can see i'm flying no issues no problems now we can turn off the weather and uh we can turn off the live weather and uh we can go back to clear skies right Clearly, as you can see, how smooth that is. I do notice the drop of frames a little bit. That could be the internet. My internet's losing the data. That could be it. Um,
let's see how successfully can I land here since we're here let's see how successful is Mr. Forke going to be on landing go ahead and do this got my flaps the speed is way down hold it steady hold it steady 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 and we're gonna land we're gonna land this mother down you see, when you have that sensitivity adjusted accordingly, you can have a much, much better flying experience and uh, landing experience as well. Here we go. Okay. It's a bit of a wind over here. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. Not the smoothest of uh, of landings, but uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's go taxi out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, uh, I'm just trying to help you here. Um, if you have any questions tonight, I'm going to be doing a live stream tonight. I can answer these questions and I can maybe explain them better to you. Uh, you know, take your time, guys. There's no rush. Uh, you know, with this game, you'll have to take some time, you know, and uh, learn about the ins and outs uh, of this game, just like everything else. Um, but uh, once you get everything set once you get everything calibrated once you get the whole thing running um it's just gonna be better uh and it's just gonna feel more smoother now having these uh thrustmaster flight stick controllers does it add to a better experience of course of course if you got a nice seater nice seat with this uh in front of your beautiful all adobe vision tv and a nice surround sound of course of course, it's going to add to uh, to a much better experience. But remember, calibrating that sensitivity is really the key. Same thing goes with your Xbox controller. If you're going to be using the Xbox controller, you want to make sure that the uh, sensitivity on your Xbox controller, it's calibrated. You can use my calibration. Try it out. Uh, if it works for you, use it. I think it will work for you. Pause the video, write it down, and uh, implement those sensitivity uh percentages that i have used and uh see how it works for you it works for me i was able to take off with uh boeing 747 cold started landed during the rain uh you've seen those uh, live streams i did last uh last week so um all over the weekend the videos that i've done and uh if you have any questions leave a comment down below so i hope you enjoy the video I'll see you uh I'll see you pretty soon on a live stream. We'll talk more about this. Thank you.